Hey guys! Only three weeks to go to Necrom, so let's talk training gear. There are three things we want. It must be the right level, and it should boost our XP as much as possible, whilst being as combat effective as possible. Simple as that. Low level means craftable gear. You do not want to farm for a complete set at level 10, and then do it all over again at level 30 or whatever. No way. Luckily, there are plenty of decent crafty sets in ESO. Heartland Conqueror is top of the list because it grants a unique boost to the training trait on your weapons. And it's typically paired with Order's Wrath for the great damage stats. That ticks all three boxes and makes a decent all-round setup. But because the Arcanist gets so much of its damage from class abilities, I wanted to test Claw of the Forest's Wraith as well, and it did come out a few percent ahead. I still recommend Order's Wrath as an all-around set, but if you're just making a one-off setup for your Arcanist and won't use many weapon abilities while leveling, then Forest Wraith should perform slightly better. Don't forget to enchant your gear. This was a stamina character, so they're all stamina enchants on the body, with weapon and spell damage on the jewelry, poison and flame on the front bar, and weapon damage on the back bar. All training, except the jewelry, which can be bloodthirsty, infused, or whatever you want, really. Your back bar weapon can be training or infused. There aren't many craftable sets with useful damage procs for us to run on the back bar. I tested Morkeldin, but the proc was kinda limp so overall damage was about the same. Still, it allows you to run four pieces of New Moon Acolyte and that extra line of penetration should speed things up a bit in content, but I expect most people will prefer to keep Heartland Conqueror on both bars. I recommend having at least one piece of light and one piece of medium armor in your setup to get those leveled as you play. Throw in a heavy piece as well if you want, ideally the chest, so you get the maximum armor bonus in exchange for the damage loss. To unlock the armor skill lines, you need to equip at least three pieces of that armor weight. Once it's unlocked, you can unequip them again. But even without unlocking these skill lines, you will still earn progress by wearing at least one piece of armor in that weight. The more you equip, the faster you progress. Speaking of armor, if you're making an Arcanist tank and don't want to level it as a DD, but plan to tank it right away in random dungeons, for example, you can still go with Heartland Conquer on both bars, and if you put an infused Crusher enchantment on your back bar, that also gets boosted by the set. Stick with training on the front bar though. There aren't many true support sets that are craftable, but you can go with something like Wretched Vitality for easier sustain, which can sometimes be rough at low levels. Ancient Dragon Guard if you want to deal some damage without being too squishy, Naga Shaman if you're doubling as a tank and a healer for your group, Incoming damage will be very low to start with, but if you just want to be tanky, you can also run Fortified Brass. Whatever works. If you're leveling a healer, again, there's probably no need to go full-on healer mode in easy content. So you can just run the DPS setup I mentioned, and slot some healing and buff abilities. If you're worried about sustain, Armor of the Seducer is a classic, and Eyes of Mara makes all your rest of abilities cheaper. You could run either of those alongside Hardland Conqueror. I recommend making purple gear. You can make the weapons gold, but the massive cost of upgrading armor and jewelry means it's probably not worthwhile. Then again, the more times you use this setup, the more value you get from it. I used to keep two sets of training gear in the bank, at level 10 and level 30, and every new character I made would use them. Like hand-me-down baby clothes! Keep this trick in mind if you're thinking of making more characters in the future. Whatever you end up doing, and whatever role you play, you'll make things a lot easier by crafting some buff food in advance. Lava foot soup, ghastly eyeball, bewitched sugar skulls, and the crown fortifying meal are all level 1, so that's easy enough. Potions not so much. Crown potions are also level 1, and you get some when you hit level 22. But weapon power and spell power potions are not, so you can either craft a small stack of potions at level 10, 20, 30 and 40, or just get by on whatever potions you pick up as you go. That usually works for me. You do get 25 elixirs at level 42, but that's a long time to wait. You can also get the damage buffs without potions. Arcanists get permanent major brutality and sorcery from Tome Bearer's Inspiration, which unlocks at Herald of the Tome rank 30. That's the damage skill line. So that takes care of one half, 
For Mage's Savagery and Prophecy, you can slot Mage Light. You just need to read 14 lore books to hit Mage's Guild Rank 2 and unlock it. Expert Hunter works the same way, but this unlocks at Fighter's Guild Rank 6, which takes much longer. Your bars will change as you level, but the core of the Arcanist damage rotation is to build up Crux with a spammable, then consume it with the Fate Carver Beam. Runeblades builds Crux against single targets, and morphing Abyssal Impact to Cephaliarch's Flail lets you use that as an AoE spammable, which also builds up Crux. Once you have three Crux floating around you, let rip with the exhausting Fate Carver and watch those ads melt. There's more to the Arcanist than this combo, but it will be your bread and butter to start with. And finally, don't forget to set up your CPs before you start and get a Munders Boom. That's going to be it for this video. Lots of recommendations in there. Feel free to pick and choose whatever you like. Most of the stuff here is for optimizing XP from kills. But if you have other priorities, then go ahead and build around those instead. Thank you again for all the lovely feedback on these videos. It's a lot of work, but the support and encouragement I've had from you guys makes a big difference. I hope this one was helpful and I'll see you again next week.